What's up guys? Welcome to the Mac channel. I'm Ten, regional education trainer from California, and I'm gonna be showing you how to create this glitter ombre eye, so stick around. First things first, you want to prep your eyes. I'm gonna be using a little bit of paint pot, and honestly, I like to use my finger. This allows me to apply a really thin layer onto my lid, so I don't oversaturate this area and actually increase the creasing throughout the day, if that makes any sense. All right, nice and smooth. Next is eyeliner. So I really enjoy using cream products as a base before I do my eyeshadow, just to make sure everything looks really nice and blended out. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of Teddy today. And you wanna make sure that you use this right after your cream base, because if you put this on top of eyeshadow, it's gonna be really hard to blend out. I really enjoy a brown eyeliner. It gives you the drama that a black eyeliner does. However, it's not as intense and it's easier to work with especially when you're gonna be doing something really bold and colorful. It's nice to have a balance of different tones. And then once I have my general shape, this looks good, we'll blend it out. So I'm gonna be using a 239 brush. Just remember that you have to blend out every little edge because once you put powder on it, it's sealed for a lifetime and a half. So blending it out is super important. I really love Teddy. It's one of my favorite eyeliners. I can make it look really soft and pretty on a day where maybe I don't want so much, or I can get it nice and intense like this. And it's really easy to move, as you can see. A little dab with the finger, just to make sure everything's nice and melted. Cool, all right, looks pretty even. Now, eyeshadow. The key to creating a bold, beautiful, colorful eyeshadow is transition colors. I'm gonna be using a little bit of soft brown and a blending brush, and I'm just gonna work into my crease. This look is going to have a ton of color in the inner corner, so that means my blending colors also have to fit right in there. So I'm bringing this right into this inner part of the brow bone and blending it down. I spend a lot of time here. I make sure that this portion of the eye looks really flawless and seamless because we need balance. So now let's add some smoke, right? We really want this to look nice and dramatic. I'm going to be using espresso eyeshadow. We're gonna place this right on the outer corner and down onto that teddy. I'm also using the same brush that I used earlier to blend that out. All right, and then now that bottom lash line. Smoke it out. All right, now I'm going back with that brush that I used in my crease just to make sure that everything's nice and blended. Now this is a process. All right, we're gonna work on this inner corner. One of my favorite things to do is color in the inner corner. Because of my shape, I can't really, you know, place a whole lot everywhere, so I have to be very strategic on where I put color. And I find that this little spot right here just works perfect for my eye shape. So. That's what we're gonna do. So, again, we need a base, right? Studio Finish W10, the lightest shade that you can find in this stuff is magical. 209 brush, and I am going to apply my Studio Finish concealer, and I'm being very generous. It's gonna look wild, but it's a part of the process, and in the end, it's worth it. I'm done, just kidding. So now, we're gonna take a little flat 248 brush, and we're gonna blend this out. So the trick here is to blend out the edges, not the inside. You wanna leave a good amount of product sitting right in that little pocket. So just gonna use this to kind of pull, and just pulling, and pulling. You want that product to kind of sit there in the center because this is what you want to hold. Also, using something really light helps to make bright colors really stand out. All right. Now, the fun part, shadows, colored eyeshadows. So I'm gonna be using cobalt and mint condition, and we're really gonna blow this out in this inner corner. So the first thing is using your darker color. With a 221 brush, so a little bit of shadow, go for it. And I'm gonna blend this eyeshadow out into the rest, and I'm hugging my inner tear duct. It's gonna be wild, but hopefully it'll come together. And you can see how that adding that base underneath really allows for this to kind of blend out really smoothly. 
All right, here's a really fun part. Using that small liner brush, mint condition, pick this up, we're gonna pop it on the center. When I mean pop it on, I mean pop it on, because we can blend it afterwards. The more that you add, the brighter it gets, so. I'm just gonna pack this on, just make sure everything's nice and blended. I told you, never too much. So remember, this is why leaving that extra little dab of concealer in the center is so important, because that's gonna be the glue that holds all of this together. So as I'm adding this bright color in there, it's really gonna pop out. Okay, I think I'm gonna move on from this now. All right, now this is an ombre glitter eye. So we're missing one key element, which is glitter. Dazzle liquid shadow. Love this stuff. So I'm just gonna go to town with this. Get a good layer. I like to bring this up. I know a lot of people like keep it on their lid, but you know, I'm not blessed with all of that space and I know that I have lost the transfer battle long ago. So I bring it, up, bring it up anyways, it's gonna end up there. And I like to do a little tilt just to see how I'm gonna look as I'm posing throughout the day. Whoa, all right, look at that. This one has a little bit extra, but we have been talking about how extra I am today, so I guess it's okay. I like a little bit of back and forth motion between the wand, my finger, just to move those little glitter particles around. This is doing it for me right now, but more, right? Okay, I'm ready. We're gonna take it there. We're using glitter. Before applying this, we need an adhesive. We're gonna use some Duo for this. Now we gotta work quick, because this dries. So just in that area where I laid my first layer of glitter, so now dabbing my finger, and then little pitter patter motions. You don't wanna go like too hard on this, because then you're gonna end up with glitter all over your face. And then as the glitter sort of releases itself from the grasps of my finger, I kinda like to take whatever's left over and just do like little dabs here and there so I have extra particles reflecting back at me all over the lid and not just in that center spot. Boom, yep, I'm into it. It's a regular Tuesday makeup, you know, no big deal. Love it, all right. So now let's clean up this little brush right here. It's perfect to get rid of any little dusties, any leftovers. Make sure the glitter is on your eyes and not absolutely everywhere. Sweet, all right. So I love it, I'm into it. I'd probably walk out of the house like this, but you can't do a beautiful eye look without finishing it off with some bomb eyelashes. So mascara, extended play. Mascara was actually the first thing I ever wore. When I started wearing makeup, my mom was not happy about it. Lashes really complete a look. Where it kind of brings the focus back in here and you make everything else look nice and blurry and soft. And I love that. You can never put on too much. All right, just some last touches. My favorite lash is a 40 lash. What I like to do is actually chop out some of these little center dividers, you can see. And then I also like to trim right around these little chunks right here to create a really pretty wispy lash that doesn't look too heavy or overwhelming. So, perfect lash for this. After I apply some adhesive, I kind of have to let it sit out for a minute. It gets nice and tacky, because if you take it when it's still too wet, it's gonna be moving and grooving. Also, I like to apply glue, not just on the band, but also a little bit on the body of the lash, just to make sure it's really secure and it's not moving around throughout the day. So, I'm gonna try to do this directly, I think I can. And then, because I pre-measured this and made sure it fit me ahead of time, I'm gonna pop on like a glove. No funky corners. All right, make sure it looks nice and secure. And then, you know, a little extra mascara. So I like to use this just to make sure that my natural lash and the lash strip are really nice and blended together. Make them look nice and fluffy. Awesome. All right, what do you guys think? 
I'm into it. I love everything about this. Love the colors, love the neutral tones, love the glitter. Really happy with how it came out. But I need to finish this off with a little brow groom. So I am going to use some brow gel. Kind of just comb through my existing hair just to make sure it's all nice and in place. And just to fill in some gaps. Shape and Shade Brow Tint. I'm gonna do just some little baby strokes. I like to start at the bottom, and then if I ever add too much of this, I actually like to just pull at the edges really quick just to make sure it kind of blends into my skin. And that's kind of it. That's the brow. No look is complete without, yep, you guessed it, Fix Plus. All right, there you have it a glitter ombre smoky eye and just how I like it with a pop of color in the center. What do you guys think? I had so much fun doing this for you. I hope you enjoyed watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe you'll see more looks like this. Bye.